Hey guys, Peugeot here and welcome to another guide. Today we'll be talking about the Werewood Memories event, which is of course an event that happens once a month and it is very popular. Everybody is getting commander medals, friendship chests and so on. So I will be covering what the event is about and uh, what rewards you're going to be getting on it as well as the important formations that you can use in 314 and 315. So the event is found right here at the top right corner in your events and what you can see is that the Werewood Memories is right here and first you need to click go and then you're transferred into this event page. So the event, as I said, is happening once a month. It is going on for a week and it has three sets of difficulties, the normal, the elite and the epic. And of course, each difficulty has 15 stages that you need to complete. So this is very similar to the uh, Werewood Tree but it's a bit more difficult and with a little bit more features. Now, when you have upgraded your commanders, you would have a slight advantage because you can automatically complete stages like the entire uh, first difficulty, the normal, you can complete it without even fighting. It will cost you 15 stamina to go through each stage. So a total of 225 to go through the initial stage. Then on the second one, you would be reaching until right about here. And basically you can uh, skip a stage if you have a certain um, power on your commanders. Let's say the highest is 654,000 points from total of six commanders that you need to have and then you can skip most of the stages and then here you can skip in the epic level so the rest of the stages like 310 to 315 and uh, 213 to 215 you need to do it by yourself so how do you do that how do you fight in those stages? As I mentioned, first of all, you need to have stamina. And as you can see, I've used all of my stamina already because I save all of my hearts for this particular event, which is what you should be doing as well if you want the rewards. Then what do you do? Let's say we go to a stage and this is the rewards that the stage will give you. And of course it requires the certain uh, stamina and then you can go into the formation and then you choose the commanders to fight against the particular enemy. So that's pretty much it, just like in the Werewood tree. Now, of course you have a quest as well and each time you complete a certain checkpoint you get some rewards and in these events you get those werewood tokens and those tokens is what you can use in the event shop which i'm going to show you a bit later and it's important every day for you to complete 72 stages so that way you can get all of the daily rewards this is available every single day so 72 stages you need nine hearts to go through them because each heart gives you 8 stages. 8 times 15 is 120. Then, once you've completed all that, you can use any extra hearts you may have. Just remember, at the beginning of the event, when you start using your hearts, when you complete everything up to 315, then you check your hearts and you leave 6 days worth of hearts. So this means you need to have 48 hearts left at the end of day one. 
and every single day you're gonna be using eight hearts plus buying another heart from the vip shop that's nine so you every day you can complete 72 stages and then you get the tokens and then in those tokens you use them here in the shop now initially when you're a new player what you will be buying first of all would be the 20 extra hearts because to buy one heart it takes 2000 points but then when you use the heart eight stages times 360 you're gonna get more than 2000 so you buy those and again you use them to complete more stages so all in all good deal then as i said as a new player you're going to be buying commander medals as you can see you don't have all of the commanders here like you don't have Arya stark for example but most of the free to play commanders are available here and uh, this is a bit cheaper then in the werewood tree where you would need about 36 stamina for a medal here you need less than that because the 600 points you can get for 30 stamina and then first thing you should be doing of course is to get all of your commanders all of the available here to gold quality and of course remember to buy Egbert, Barrett and Obian first because their medals are a very good deal here in this event and usually you get them only in the recruitment pass but that is very very slow especially as a free to play player so it's always good to get their medals from here so then what do you do when you have all of your commanders to gold and you don't need any more medals you should buy Hector because we know that Hector is usually a commander that you can buy in the shop however here every month you have the chance to get 20 of his medals and of course that is what you should be doing because 20 medals 9000 points each that's 180,000 which you can get for like four days five days of attempts and then you're gonna be having the 10 epic general tokens that you can buy for a total of 63,000 and when you buy the Hector medals and the epic general tokens the next thing you're going to need is the friendship chest and here you have the limited amount of 60 I've already bought all of that and what I'm doing with the rest of my uh, stamina and hearts I'm going to buy some commander medals and then I'll be converting them into elite general tokens to awaken my free to play commanders so that's how you use the shop and that is the priority of buying things and now of course these stages as i mentioned some of them are quite quite difficult and especially these last two 314 and 315 now whenever you are fighting a stage you will notice that each stage will have uh, certain commanders that you fight against but the stages sometimes will give you an advantage like a helpful hint how to be effective so for example when you're fighting against Sheila in 312 it's telling you that if you're fighting using three infantry commanders and two bow commanders this will be uh, reducing the attack of the enemy by 40 percent and as we know Sheila is uh, of course a high uh, attack commander so she will kill you very fast so by using this effective condition by using three infantry commanders and two bow commanders you would reduce her attack and you will have much bigger chance to succeed so always try to use the effective conditions so that you can be having an easier time winning so for 314 we have a very very nasty setup we have Jon Snow and we have Enzo and as we know both of them die very very difficult so here is the setup that you're going to be using for them 
and of course the effective conditions is that you should be using two cavalry commanders and two spearman commanders which of course we do so that way you have 30 percent more health and you can survive for longer and then of course 315 which is <laughs> the hardest part for most people there it is asking you to use five female commanders to reduce the enemy attack by 50 percent and the formation you're going to be using is this one here that is already saved because this is the last thing i completed so as you can see this is a little bit different than the other stages because it has two waves two parts of the battle so the first one you have these three commanders and all of them would be protected from the special skills for a certain amount of time so to complete this automatically you be, you should be using this setup so you need sabrina and uma on the front on the top then you have sheila and jean in the middle and aria and enzo at the bottom so using this setup on automatic you would be able to complete the first stage and maybe you would be losing very very little amount of health on your commanders and then going into the second stage is where the tricky part begins because OBN has a specific skill which says that uh, whenever one of the enemy commanders dies OBN will shoot like uh, 100,000 damage randomly which means one of your commanders is most certainly going to die so this is very tricky and uh, the important thing is for him to die first which is almost impossible but having Enzo here to take damage from Gorel means Enzo will be doing quite a bit of damage so he, he can one shot OBN in the beginning of the battle and then at the end of it you would be left with like one two or three commanders and then you win now it doesn't work every single time and uh, sometimes it can take you two or three attempts but i've tried this setup several times already and uh, this month it worked from the first time i was left with two commanders at the end and i completed it so as a free-to-play player you can use exactly the same commanders as you know uh, five of those six are free to play and then even you can be using gray and so and you can get those from the corolla event for 100 corolla tokens so even a gray and is fine here and uh, make sure you have all of the other commanders gold and on my old account i also have a purple uma so that also works with a gray and so so you can still complete it from the first time without any wipe so once you've completed the 315 what you do is you start blitzing as you can see i have 16 hearts already so i'm going to click the blitz one time i get 360 points and you should be blitzing only the 315 because it gives the highest amount of points and then once you get enough tokens you start spending in the shop and you get all of those nice rewards so guys that is how the werewood memories works make sure you complete it early when it starts on monday go through all of the stages quickly and then start blitzing every day at least 72 times and then buy all the nice rewards and upgrade your account get the commanders that you need that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed it and see you on the next one